So please stay with us. First, a teenager with post-traumatic stress after the bombing at the Manchester Arena says so she was thrown off a packed late-night bus because she was sick during a panic attack. Kira Glossop, who has cerebral palsy and uses a wheelchair, believes the driver thought she'd been drinking. The 17-year-old, who's from Bolton, had been at Manchester's Christmas light switch on before she got on the first Manchester bus with home, at home with her friends. She's been talking to our correspondent, Elaine Wilcox. It was dark, I was freezing, I was still in a state of panic and we were like all distressed. Thrown off a bus and left in the street. This was the first time Kira Glossop had gone into Manchester without her parents since being caught up in the arena bombing. She'd watched the fireworks with her friends, none of them had been drinking and she was sick during a panic attack on the bus home. My friend just said to the bus driver, like, I don't think this is very fair to a girl who's having a panic attack. I started crying and I said to the bus driver, like, I'm so sorry. And he actually shook his head at me before shutting the doors. And, like, I was so confused and, like, so in shock. I didn't know what to do. Kira had a panic attack after a wheelchair tipped several times stuck in the aisle. She couldn't use the wheelchair bay because the pram was there. After she was sick, the bus driver ordered her off here, 11 miles away from home. Here is an ambassador for a charity which advises on public transport and better training of staff. You have something like this potentially happen to you, and it's terrible. I mean, you just don't feel able to be independent. I think what's really interesting, the world needs to become more accessible. It's not about the person in a wheelchair, whether you're a young person or an adult, it's about the world changing to be acceptable. And it's about people changing their behavior towards people that have extra needs. That's as simple as that. But it's not just because she's a wheelchair user, it's anybody, it could have been, it doesn't matter what age, because you don't know how vulnerable that person is. It could have been a 40 year old, but a vulnerable 40 year old, do you know, it doesn't matter it shouldn't have happened. What would you say to that bus driver about how he made you feel? I'm not angry at you, I just hope you learn from your mistakes and you grow as a person and a bus driver in the public sector because it's important you understand the public if you're going to be working with them. First Manchester are reviewing security footage on the bus and have promised a full investigation. Kira is looking to study law in Manchester next year for her, the answer's simple, empathy and better training for drivers. Elaine Wilcox, ITV News, Berry.